Welcome to Clinical Immunology's training video on pouring an IEF gel. The first step is to turn on the water bath. The temperature needs to reach 70 degrees Celsius in order for the gel to stay liquid. The next step is to measure out the dry ingredients. For this step, you need to use the fine balance. You need to tear it to zero with the weighing boat on it. First, accurately measure out 0.3 grams of the IEF quality agarose, which should be in the small white tub. Carefully empty all of the contents into the glass pot provided. Then measure out 3.6 grams of desorbitol, which should be in the white bottle with the red lid. This should go in the same weighing boat as before. As before, empty all of the contents into the same glass bottle as the agarose. The next step is to measure out the 10% glycerol solution. Measure out 27 ml of 10% glycerol into the measuring cylinder provided. Then add this solution to the glass bottle containing the dry ingredients. The next step is to prepare the plate that the gel will be poured onto. Liberally apply the 50% methanol solution to the plate using a disposable pipette. Next, take a sheet of the gel bond film and the backing paper. The hydrophobic side needs to be placed face down, and this can be checked by pouring some deionized water over the surface. If it runs off freely, it's the hydrophobic side. Place the hydrophobic side face down onto the methanol you poured onto the gel plate, rubbing backwards and forwards to ensure good adhesion and removing all air bubbles. Cover with a paper towel to absorb any excess methanol solution and use the roller to ensure all air bubbles have been removed. Place a plastic frame over the gel bond film that you've just applied, making sure the smooth side of the frame is facing downwards. Attach a metal clip to each end to ensure that the frame stays in place. The next step is very important. You need to make sure the gel plate is level so that the gel forms evenly. Tear off a strip of the gel bond backing paper. There are three dials underneath the plate, two at the front and one at the back. These are used to level the plate. With the spirit level running left to right on the gel plate, use the two front dials to balance the bubble so that it's in the centre of the spirit level. Next, with the spirit level running front to back, use the rear dial to once again balance the bubble in the centre of the spirit level. Next, turn off the air conditioning and turn on the hairdryer to warm the gel plate. In this step, we need to turn the gel into a clear liquid and we do so by adding heat from the microwave. Remove the gel every few seconds, swirl and replace it back, making sure the lid is loose every time you put it in the microwave. Repeat as many times as necessary until the gel is clear. Tighten the lid and then place in the water bath for five minutes. The next step involves creating a pH gradient within the gel. Take the farm lights from the fridge and notice that they both have separate pHs and volumes written on their lids. Use a syringe to take two mils of a pH three to 10, ensuring there are no air bubbles. In the same syringe, carefully take a further 0.5 ml of the pH 8 to 10.5. It is very important that you do not return any surplus volume into the solution. After the 5 minutes has elapsed, remove the bottle from the water bath and add the farm light mixture from the syringe.
replace the lid, swirl and return to the water bath for a further 5 minutes. Once this 5 minutes has elapsed, it's time to pour the gel. Turn off the hairdryer and remove the bottle from the water bath. You may want to wrap it in paper towel as it will be hot. In a swift, smooth motion, pour the gel onto the gel plate within the frame area. Gently tilt the gel plate to ensure even coverage within the frame. Use a pair of tweezers to wick away any bubbles to the edge of the gel where they won't cause any harm. Leave to cool for 15 minutes to ensure the gel will settle properly and evenly. The final step involves storage of the gel. Carefully remove the clips and the frame and slide the gel bond film from the plate with the gel on top of it. Transfer the gel bond film and the gel to a silver moist box for storage. Place in the fridge for at least 30 minutes before using the gel, ideally overnight. To prevent contamination, all equipment used must be washed with Diano's water and stored in their original storage areas.